Hey guys, this is Matt from Wrecked Brewery. I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. I don't normally do these type of things on, for electronics, but uh, the tablet I have used plenty of times for brewing. I do use this for my collaboration brew days, and I use it for our experiments when I'm trying to look up some quick data. Um, I've had the tried and true uh, Tab S5e for for many years now. I think I've gone on four years of having this, three or four years. Love this case. It's got a detached keyboard and everything. It's been really good to me, but I thought it was a good time to upgrade. So I went ahead and took advantage of the pre-order and I already opened up the box because I thought this was interesting. They required a signature, but they didn't actually ask me to sign for this one. They just dropped it off and I thought this was a different box. So I had to, had to open it up to make sure that that's what this was. Um, they actually gave me a, uh, you know, not that I've already gotten a bunch of accessories off of them, but I got 30% off of even more accessories. Um, so. Go ahead. I have to go ahead and take advantage of that. But here you have it. This is the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. Um, go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got here. I did get the 128 version. I don't need a lot of space. Really, just use this out here in the brew house mostly. But I did get a. Uh, Got the plus model, this is the 12 inch screen. Comes with the S Pen. And not gonna be much more else in this box. Probably gonna get a cable. You guys have seen probably other people doing better unboxing videos than me. Um, yeah, I got a decent size USB C cable. Got the uh, SIM injection tool, which we can use for expandable storage. And of course, the S Pen. And I thought I, I got a couple of accessories already in the mail, so I wanted to go through those as well here in a second. Comes in a nice sort of cloth wrapper to keep everything nice. There you go. So it's definitely a little bigger than the one I had before. And it's got that spot on the back here for the S Pen. Just kind of magnetizes on there and charges at the same time. I'm not gonna go through a whole review of this. Um, there's other videos for that. Just wanted to kind of go through some of the stuff that I have here. So I did get a case. Since the one that is coming from Samsung is delayed. So I wanted to make sure I had something that was going to be here. So I picked up this cool looking one. It looks like, it looks like an old school uh, Marvel composition book. I um, can't remember the company that this comes from. Uh, Finti, I think is the name of it. I just found it off of Amazon. Pretty basic case, nothing real fancy. Um, you know, just gonna fit in here. Feels like it's got a good, good snug fit. And it's got that spot for the S Pen on the back here. Guess I could put this flat side down. There we go. It's got a uh, an elastic band, I guess, so it doesn't come flopping open on you when you're carrying it around. That's not bad. Feels pretty sturdy. It's got a pocket in the front, which is nice for some stuff. Looks like you can put your S Pen inside of here too. So that's cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then I also picked up this. This is the Spigen um, glass protector case. Um, or screen protector rather and see if we can't get this on there quick I've heard good things about this screen protector I've heard it works good with uh, cases so I figured why not nice cheap insurance so we have looks like the screen protector here it's got a pretty easy way to apply it and get some some, uh, some stuff here and they do make this pretty foolproof it looks like they got a pic little picture of a charger there uh, cut out for the camera so you know where to put where to put everything so
I probably put that in there good. All right, so it doesn't look like this screen has any film or anything on it. I'm pretty happy that I picked up a uh, screen protector for this. All right, so it came with some accessories here. Let's go ahead and get this prepared. Got a little squeegee. Got a microfiber cloth. And we got, it looks like two screen wipes and then a dust removal sticker. We'll go ahead and prepare the screen. Go ahead and dry this off. Let's take this. Make sure we got everything off of there. Looks pretty good. All right, so what we would do here is we can we line up the holes. So you got the, the hole here for this and the more rectangular one for this side. Remove the fill on the screen there. So just peel the back off. Here's the little handles. We line it up, drop it down. Looks like it's on there pretty, pretty well center. And then just as it says on here, you press and slide. Now there are plenty of air bubbles on there, so we will have to use the squeegee. Afterwards, then we'll just pull this top off. squeegee out the rest. All right, there you go. Pretty clean. Put it back in our case and then good to go. And uh, works well with this case at least. There's a nice little border there around the edge. Looks like there's some uh, resting points to stand it. So that'll come in real handy out here in the in the brewery. I'll just go ahead. We'll go ahead and just quickly power it on. I'm not going to do a full review on this. I'm just powering it up so you can see what it looks like in here. And um, there's product reviews out on the webs for this. Other people have uh, done a far better job than I've done here. So you can watch those for that. But there you go. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and see you on the next one. Thanks.